Hello, this is Springfield Disability Attorney Jason Krebs. I wanted to follow up with our, uh, we, we, we've done a series with uh, problems that we see and in, in, in why people are denied on the application level. Um, what, I, what I wanted to talk about are just kind of the basics here. Um, you know, one of the things that we'd previously talked about was that it's your responsibility to prove to Social Security administration that you're disabled. It's not their job to show that you're disabled. Um, so the important thing is that, you know, you have to take action. Now, action does not necessarily mean uh, run out and go file for disability today. Um, for, for a lot of people, it means, you know, start, start accumulating evidence, start building the medical file if they haven't, if it's a situation where you've been working for a long time and you're in a lot of pain or you're having real difficulties, it's important to make sure that you're getting those problems documented. Um, you know, if you've got uh, some issues where you're taking off a lot of time from work, especially if you're in a, in a, in a company that has uh, FMLA uh, coverage and you're, you're using up the, the FMLA paperwork or maybe you've got a short-term uh, disability insurance uh, policy that you've been paying for. Now that's not Social Security disability, but there's a big difference there. There is no short-term disability under the Social Security Administration. Uh, likewise, there's no partial uh, disability under the Social Security Administration. But if you have a, an insurance policy that you've been paying on, often through work, and you, you've used that, um, you know, getting that documentation together that you've used um, to do that can, can be uh, very, very beneficial to your, to your uh, Social Security disability claim. It's just important to keep that documentation going. Um, if you don't have a doctor, um, you know, you, you need to start trying to find one, um, whether it's through uh, applying for, for Missouri Health Net or they, what they call Medicaid uh, or going to Jordan Valley here in Springfield. Um, uh, the kitchens closed their clinic and now I think that's through Missouri State. Um, you know, if you're in a county where there's, um, if you can find sliding uh, scale treaters that'll treat you on a, a conditional basis or just, you know, if you've got to go to the emergency room and that's all, all you can do, that's what you need to do. But in today's social security environment, if you don't have some documentation of your problems, and, and frankly, lots of it, um, you're going to have a hard time proving your case. And again, you know, the important thing to remember is it's you that's got to prove your case. So don't forget that. Don't lose sight of it. It's not Social Security's job to prove that you're disabled. Um, but the important thing for, for people is, you know, take control of your own case. Don't, don't rely on others to prove your case for you. Um, Start putting it together as soon as you can so you're not stuck where you don't have a job and, um, and then start trying to, to put the process together. If you have any questions, uh, we have a, a free downloads on our website, KrebsLawOffice.com, and our phone number is 417-883-5886, and our 1-800 number is 1-800-345-0535. Uh, we wish you the best of luck. If you need any help, please give us a call. Thank you.